I'm going to replay Neymar's career from the very beginning. We've given him his FIFA 10 overall and potential, which, by the way, was only 73. But to be fair, your first FIFA overall being 73, I think that's pretty good. But our goal is to fulfill Neymar's potential. He was the prince that was promised. The world thought he was going to win multiple Ballon d'Ors, maybe even surpass Messi, but he never did all of that. And that's why our goal today is to try and get him to a 99 overall. But not just that, we've got more challenges for Neymar. I'll be revealing them later. Now, since we're replaying Neymar's career from the beginning, it's only fair we put him at Santos. That's where Neymar rose to prominence. But sadly, EA don't have the licenses for the Brazilian league. And so we're starting Neymar's career off at Braga, a Portuguese club. Okay, guys, allow it. Brazilians speak Portuguese, so it kind of makes sense. What? And to be fair, starting off in a European club might actually help Neymar, because he's only starting off with a 73 overall, and we're going to need to get those ratings up quickly. Especially if we want to get him a transfer to the top five leagues. The question is though, will Neymar be a starter here at Braga? Because this is actually a pretty decent team. Like, Bruma is way better than Neymar right now, and Alvaro Jalo is higher rated too. I think Neymar's gonna have to prove himself. We'll of course put a development plan on him, but let's now get through the season to see how Neymar starts off his career in the Portuguese league. While we wait, let's take a look at the challenges. Of course, Neymar's gonna have to get to that 99 overall. We have 15 seasons to do that, so I'm kind of not worry but five ballon doors is gonna be challenging winning a world cup with brazil five champions leagues neymar in his career has only won it once winning five different leagues okay neymar's gonna have to be a bit of a journeyman oh score in five different finals that's gonna be interesting neymar's gonna have to be decisive 400 goals as well i mean come on neymar can do those numbers we've made it to the end of the first season and neymar has grown pretty well up to a 77 overall not too bad and he did actually play 32 games, scoring only 4 goals though for hate, making a bit of progress towards the challenges. But as a club, Braga didn't really do much, finishing only 3rd. Oh, I had no idea that Braga were in the Champions League, but they got knocked out pretty quickly by Bayern. Not gonna lie, it's a bit of an underwhelming start for Neymar here at Braga. I was expecting him to light things up like he did at Santos. But you know what, next season Neymar's gonna be the undisputed starter down the left, and I think that could help him grow massively. We're now getting through Neymar's second Second season at Braga. Okay, this season Neymar has hit the 80 overall mark. But yeah, his growth has not been ridiculous or anything. Just steady growth. Oh, but this season he was a lot better on the pitch. Seven goals and seven assists. And wait a minute, that resulted in winning the Portuguese League. Yo, Neymar has conquered the Portuguese League. That's awesome to see. Because we had a challenge of winning different leagues and this definitely counts. Do you know what? That kind of makes Neymar's time at Braga a massive success. And it's probably the first perfect time to leave. Neymar's 80 rated. I'm sure there are going to be some interesting offers. I think this is what we got to do to progress his career. I'm actually curious. What kind of clubs are going to come in with offers for Neymar? Back when Neymar balled out at Santos, I think there were offers from both Madrid and Barca. But maybe this time we'll go a different route. Like Everton? Straight away going to the Premier League? And a club like Everton? I don't think that's a good decision. Or maybe is it? Oh, look at Neymar's strength at just 40. He's going to get destroyed in the Premier League. Do you know what? I think Neymar needs a challenge. It's time to say goodbye to the beach weather of Portugal and hello to the constant rain of England. That's right, guys. We're sending Neymar to Everton. To be honest, guys, this Everton team isn't too bad. Neymar's like the fourth best player and I think it's an opportunity for him to become a leader. Time to see if a young Neymar can dominate the Premier League. Okay, I did want to give Neymar a challenge, but I did want him to end your relegation. How did this happen? Everton going down to the championship right after Neymar joins? Yo, that's going to be a stain on Neymar's legacy. Neymar still managed to grow a little bit in his overall, but did he even score in the Premier League? Well, yes, he had his best season yet, 11 goals and 3 assists, but I don't know what went wrong. Maybe Everton are just really bad. The question is though, do we just jump ship? Now that Neymar's 82, he can probably get some decent offers, but that's just, nah, it's going to ruin his reputation. I feel like Neymar needs to bring Everton back to the Premier League. That means in season four, yup, we're gonna beat the championship. I cannot believe we've got a young Neymar with so much talent playing in the second division of England. What went wrong? But before we begin our championship season, wait a minute, it's it's 2026. That means it's a World Cup, yeah? But no, I don't think Neymar
name has been picked. Oh, that's so annoying. I mean, getting relegated, he was never going to get picked. 2030, Neymar will be there. But I guess that's if somehow he can get Everton back to the Premier League. It's time to see what Neymar can do in the championship. And yo, Neymar had a stand bad session in the championship, scoring 28 goals, winning the golden boot as well, and guiding Everton to the top of the championship, winning the league and getting them promoted. Wait, crazily enough, that should count for Neymar's second different league. I can't believe we're counting Division 2. But hey, let's just put some respect on the championship. It was still a tough league for Neymar to win, I guess. But you know what? Neymar's done what he can for Everton. I think it's time to get him out of here. We don't want to be in this relegation mix. It's time to see Neymar fight for trophies. He's 84 rated now. I'm thinking what his next destination is going to be. Oh, wow. I didn't realize Neymar's now worth 70 million. We are putting him on the transfer list. I really don't know where he's going to end up. So far, Neymar's career has been the most hilarious thing I've seen. Braga, then Everton playing in the championship. Bro, I'm curious to see what's next for him. What's next could be Aston Villa joining another Premier League team. It's interesting, but is that a club where Neymar can win trophies? Wait a minute, guys. This Aston Villa team looks cracked. They've got Kolo Muani, Moussa Diaby. Wait a minute. Kevin De Bruyne too? Oh, let's go. That's class. Guys, I cannot believe I've done this, but yep, we're sending Neymar to Aston Villa. Bro, what even are we doing with Neymar's career? This is the weirdest alternate timeline for Neymar. But funnily enough, Aston Villa are cooking. Look at their team. Neymar's going to be playing along with KDB, Kolo Muani, Diaby. He might not win all the trophies, but I think Neymar can use a couple of seasons here to develop into an incredible player. Let's just hope Neymar doesn't get relegated again. Uh. Okay, I think we kind of made a mistake joining Aston Villa. They're still nowhere near the top Premier League clubs. But sending Neymar here was pretty awesome because look at the growth he's had up to an 89. And he scored 22 goals this season and 5 assists. Wait a minute, Neymar could win a trophy for Aston Villa. Yo, we've got a challenge for Neymar to score in cup finals. This is the first cup final he's going to be playing in. Oh, but it's against this Man City team. He's not winning. Come on, Neymar. A chance to win a trophy for Aston Villa. I know he's done it on penalties. Neymar scored the pen. Did he score in the game too? I was De Bruyne. We're still going to have to wait Neymar to score in a cup final. But fair enough. Winning a trophy with Aston Villa. That's pretty amazing. But if we look at Neymar's challenges. We're nowhere near winning Ballon d'Ors, Champions Leagues. The goal tally's looking good. 72 in five seasons. Not bad. But we need to step things up. And for that, I think, yeah, we have to move Neymar to some of the world's biggest clubs. You know what? I think we did the right thing by not sending Neymar to any of the big clubs early on. He's now got so much experience. 89 rated at the age of 23. I think wherever he goes, he's going to just dominate. An offer coming from Inter. Playing in the Serie A. I mean, that's tempting. Inter are a club that constantly compete for the Serie A. And the Champions League contenders possibly do. I think this would be a really smart move. And so finally, we've got Neymar making the big transfer. Joining the best club in Italy, probably. I think it's finally time to see Neymar win at the big trophies, the Champions Leagues, the Ballon d'Ors. I want to see it all. I think, yeah, we made the right choice joining Inter because this team is different levels. Also, is that Vitor Roque? Yo, EA added Vitor Roque into the game. Bruh. They need to give him a real game face, though. Now, since EA have put him into the game, maybe we should be playing his career, too. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that, and while you're down there, subscribe to the channel. Now that we've got Neymar in the Serie A playing for one of the big boys. No excuses. Serie A, Champions League. He's got to try and win it all. And that's what's up. Neymar wins his first Serie A title. It was close though. That's the third different league now Neymar has won. But of course, winning the Champions League's the most important thing. But wait, what? Inter are, are, are not here? Guys, what? Okay, maybe the Europa League. No, they're not there too. Oh my. We literally joined a conference league club. How was their team so good then? I mean, it's still a trophy and let's just hope Neymar can score in this final. And yes, he did get a goal. Let's go. Scored a brace actually. Oh my days, the stats. That's his best season. I told you it was the right time to move him to a big club. 36 goals. Are you kidding me? Neymar's definitely staying at Inter for a while. Maybe this season he could 
even with the Champions League. Oh, and it is getting even better for Neymar. A cup final against AC Milan. Come on, it's another final. We need Neymar to score in this. Can he actually do it? Ah, oh, he couldn't get the goal, but hey, he got the trophy. Ah, oh, but Inter missed out on winning the Serie A by just a point. Good thing we've already won the league. What really matters, though, is winning more Champions Leagues. In fact, we've not won a single one yet with Neymar. But we could change that because Inter have indeed made the Champions League final. Come on, Neymar. I want to see you score as well in this Champions League final. You can do it. And did he score? Yes, he did. Let's go. The opening goal was from Neymar. He's got his first Champions League. And once again, a ridiculous season. 32 goals. It's just outrageous. Also, here's a progress update on Neymar's challenges. We're looking decent for the goals, man. 140. Seen Neymar score in a couple of finals. Three different leagues in the bag. First Champions League. I think it's finally time to see Neymar add a Ballon d'Or to this list. But maybe to win a Ballon d'Or, Neymar's gonna have to win a World Cup. And it is 2030. Wait, guys. Wait. Oh, no. Brazil are not in the game. I'm such an idiot. That's why Neymar wasn't called up for the World Cup. Brazil are literally not in the game. Yo! That means because of EA, we're failing that challenge. I blame EA for this one. But wait a minute. At least it looks like Neymar's gonna win the Ballon d'Or. And yes, something he couldn't achieve in real life. He's done it now. A Ballon d'Or for Neymar. And it's deserved as well. Won the Champions League and everything with Inter. But this is only the start. We need Neymar to win four more of these. Oh, to follow up that Ballon d'Or, Neymar has just scored the winning goal in a cup final. Nah, it just keeps getting better for Neymar. The best decision we made was joining Inter. Because now Neymar's got another chance to win the Champions League. Come on, Neymar. Let's get number two. It could help you win the Ballon d'Or too. Can he do it? Yes, he can. But he couldn't score in the game. Instead, he got subbed Bruh. off in the 46th minute. I don't understand why. That's still Neymar's second Champions League trophy. And also another season of decent stats. 27 goals. Neymar's now 94 rated as well. Being an Inter, I think Neymar has definitely made great progress. And if we stay here, we're probably going to win a few more Champions Leagues. But what we need to also do is go to different leagues and win them. And maybe after three seasons of being an Inter, it's time for Neymar to maybe explore La Liga or even back to the Premier League. Here we go. We are transfer listing Neymar. I'm curious to see which clubs come in for a 94 rated Neymar. He's now the best in the world. Kind of don't want to send him to the Premier League though because we've been there for a while. I know not at a big club. I'm kind of hoping we see some La Liga clubs come in for Neymar. I mean, I did ask for a La Liga club, but not Atletico Madrid. I mean, it's a crazy offer, but nah, I want, I want Neymar to go either to Real Madrid or Barcelona. Barcelona would be a bit emotional. You know what? This is what we'll do. The first of those two clubs to come in with an offer, that's where Neymar's heading. Okay, we do have an offer from Bayern Munich. I know I did talk about joining Real Madrid and Barcelona, but maybe we keep that for later. Because Bayern Munich would be an easy way to win Bundesliga. Probably a few Champions Leagues. Maybe we'll postpone sending Neymar to La Liga for a few seasons. Because I think Bayern is a really good club to be at. And here we go. We've got Neymar joining Bayern Munich as his next club. Oh, and he's already got Prime Musiala playing alongside him. Okay, wait a minute, guys. The first thing that's happening here is Neymar missing out on the Ballon d'Or. They gave it to Rafael Leao. Nah, that's a robbery. Neymar joins Bayern and he's already getting the Lewandowski treatment of being robbed of a Ballon d'Or. But they can't be stealing more Ballon d'Ors from Neymar because he's crushed the Bundesliga. 46 goals. Are you crazy? That might be one of the highest goals we've seen for a player in a season. That is nuts. No way. I can't believe this. We joined Bayern Munich to win the Bundesliga. And even though Neymar's had a crazy season, he couldn't do it. Nah. We needed to win this for the different league's objective. Wait, what am I seeing? The Champions League final is Dortmund versus Linz. And we weren't even in the conversation. Guys, how is the Europa League final Bayern Munich versus Real Madrid? What is going on? It's been a stinker of a season for Bayern Munich. But if Neymar can score in this final, win them a trophy. And he does. Let's go. Looking at the challenges, Neymar has now scored over 200 goals. But we really need to somehow win the Bundesliga. Let's see what Neymar can do in his second season at Bayern. Okay, wait a minute. We've got the UEFA Super Cup final. If Neymar scores in this game, that's one of the challenges done. And of course, he just had to. Yo, Neymar scored a hat trick. Big game player wins Bayern Munich another trophy. And that's our scoring in finals challenge complete. That's Is that the first challenge we finished? I think so. Wait a minute. I was not expecting this. Neymar wins his second Ballon d'Or. To be fair, even though he didn't win any of the big trophies, his stats, 
stats and numbers were just outrageous. So fair enough. And life at Bayern Munich just keeps getting better for Neymar because the Bundesliga is in the bag. Fourth different league title for Neymar. I think we made the best choice, man. Sending him to Bayern. So look at that. He's now 95 rated. Yeah, we're still far away from 99, but I think we'll get there. But this is just crazy. His numbers at Bayern Munich have just been outrageous. But it could get even better because Neymar's about to play another Champions League final. Come on, Neymar. Another big trophy. Let's get it in the bag. There you go. He didn't score, but we don't need him to score. We've done that challenge. All we need to do is collect Champions League trophies. And that's number three for Neymar. We're now in season 11 and I'm starting to see the quality of this team go down a little bit. Players are leaving, retiring and everything. But I want to keep Neymar at Bayern Munich for at least one more season. And this is why I kept him at Bayern. Another Ballon d'Or for Ney. Okay, wait. What just happened? Bayern Munich finishing eighth? Knocked out in the round of 16 of the Champions League? What went wrong? Oh no. Our goalkeeper left. Of course. We were literally playing an outfield player in goal all this time. That's what happens. You stay too long in a club. The club just makes the most stupid transfers ever. I mean, now we've got no choice but to leave next season. But at least Neymar ends his term at Bayern Munich, scoring another 33 goals. And he's up to a 96 overall. But we still have to try and win one more league title with Neymar, a couple more Champions Leagues, a couple more Ballon d'Ors. And I think for that, we've got a transfer list there. There you go, guys. Season 12 and Neymar has been put on the transfer list. He's better than ever now. 96 rated, still quite in his prime, but this could be the final transfer he makes. Okay, a transfer offer from Man City, but do I want to send him back to the Premier League? Because I think this could be Neymar's last transfer. Because he's most likely going to hit 99 overall, and then for some reason the game stops giving you transfer offers. Oh, uh, we got to choose wisely, man. I, I think, you know what, City? Nah. I'll be honest, I'm waiting for one of the two big clubs from Spain, but I don't think we're getting one. Have we made a mistake saying no to City? Because now we're getting offers just from clubs like Dortmund. Look at this, Bruh. Leeds United? Nah, Neymar's not going to Leeds. Bro, I think we messed up. We're getting offers from Fulham now. An offer from Fiorentina? Bro, I'm regretting not taking that Man City offer. We're just three weeks away from the window shutting. We've just got to make a decision. Okay, there's an offer from Arsenal, and I think we take it. We, we, we don't really have a choice now. I wanted Neymar to join Barcelona or Real Madrid. That was his best chance to maybe win La Liga and maybe the Champions League too. Instead, though, we're sending him to Arsenal. Not even Man City. Uh, I think we've made a big blunder. Okay, maybe we haven't made a blunder because this Arsenal team is actually cracked. They've got a 92 rated goalkeeper. Okay, now I'm thinking maybe Neymar can complete all of his challenges. No, this is why joining Arsenal could prove to be a mistake. Haaland wins the Ballon d'Or. Maybe if we were at Man City, Neymar would have won it. Now nah, we made a mistake. We should have joined Man City. Maybe we should have joined Chelsea because that's who won the league. At least Neymar's gone up to 97. Just a couple more ratings for that 99 overall. He was the best Arsenal player this season with 26 goals, but the numbers could be a bit better. Wait, hang on. I forgot about the Champions League. No way. How? Arsenal did nothing in the Premier League, but somehow found themselves reaching a Champions League final? And would you believe it? He's done it. Neymar has just won Arsenal their first ever Champions League. Nah, he was the MVP in the Champions League too. Bro, this career path from Neymar was something I didn't expect. Going to the Championship, then leaving and joining Inter, becoming a legend there, becoming a hero at Bayern Munich, and then coming to Arsenal not joining one of the Spanish clubs. Things are going crazy. But look at Neymar's challenges, boys. We still need to win one more Champions League, a Premier League title. But first, what about the Ballon d'Or? And yes, number four for Neymar, fourth Ballon d'Or. Okay, we're at the end of the season and we're checking if Neymar has won the Premier League. It's looking close. Oh my days. Same points as Chelsea, but the goal difference got Neymar through. He's a Premier League winner and we've completed the different leagues challenge. No way, Neymar's not done. He could win his second Champions League with Arsenal. Yo, Arsenal might actually break Henri's statue outside the Emirates to build a Neymar statue because Neymar's become an Arsenal legend already. Come on, Neymar. Let's get that Champions League again. It's done. He didn't score, but that's perfectly fine. 
That's the Champions League challenge done as well. Oh, and on the pitch, Neymar stepped up big time. 33 goals. And that means Neymar is at 346. He just needs 54 in two seasons. It's very doable. Also, Neymar is 98 rated now. I think next season could be the season he gets that 99 overall. Talking about next season, let's see if Neymar gets the Ballon d'Or for the fifth time. Premier League plus Champions League? Of course, Neymar was bagging his fifth Ballon d'Or. Also, at the end of the season, Neymar does end up hitting that 99 overall. Guys, I'm pretty sure if this didn't happen this season, we would have failed the challenge because Neymar's 32 and he's only going to start going down in his overall. Oh, but my word, has he put in a great season. 44 goals. That's outrageous. That means all Neymar needs to do in his final season is score 10 goals. That's it. And I mean, he's just won Arsenal in another Premier League. He's, he's going to get the 10 goals next season. And of course, end of season 15 and Neymar's going with a bang. 29 goals to wrap things up. He didn't win another Premier League, but he's got plenty of them. Every single challenge apart from the World Cup one, and that's EA's fault. But yup, Neymar completed it all. And what a different career he had. I'm glad we didn't send him to Barcelona or Real Madrid because this path is definitely way better for him. And by the way, if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll enjoy me play the career of Kylian Mbappe to try and make him the GOAT. Click here to watch that.